Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the We'll Make a Fun Out of You podcast. I'm Aaron Newsom. He's a Tesh T Dog Sharma. We're here to talk about wrestling today. I'm still tired. I'm tired, tired too. I'm very, very <laughs> tired. Oh God. Oh, get um, the sofas out of the way then, and then we'll tell we'll, everyone. We'll tell everyone what we're doing. They've no, the, actually, they've seen the title. They right, yeah, they've the seen the title. Yeah. So, welcome to the We'll Make a Fan Out of You podcast. You can find us on at Make a Fan of You. We're on X, Instagram, TikTok, and we are also on Twitch. I'm hoping to bring it back, but work has been absolutely busy. So, just yeah. Follow us on at Make Fan of You. If you want to see our lovely faces on the podcast, we are on YouTube. That's We'll Make Fan Out of You. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and all your feedbacks are appreciated. And also, if you do like listening to podcasts, whether you're on lunch or you're in the car or you just want to hear our lovely voices, yeah. Spotify, Amazon, RSS, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Anywhere you get your podcast from, that will make a fan out of you. Yeah. And here we are, back again. What did we talk about last week? I can't remember. It was all about Mariah. Oh, yeah. It's been a long week, to be fair. It has been a really long week. Really long week. Like, the UK's been, like, they had, like, towards the end of the week, a really, really hot two days. And, I don't know, this just week has dragged. It dragged dragged the end of the week. Yeah. Especially being on shifts, it's not good. Mm. And then here we are. We d- we decided really late, actually, this week. We were going to stay up and watch Slammiversary, the TNA, 2024. Yeah, it was all right, to be fair. I'd had a long day. I'd been out. We'd went to the theatre to watch Hamilton. I thought better treat the missus before I'll get <laughs> before, around before we get us again. around to watch the wrestling, yeah. yeah. So we did that. And then, yeah, come back just in time. Well, just in time for you boys to turn up. And then we got some Mario Kart in. Didn't actually get a takeaway this time. That was a weird thing, having a takeaway. I liked it. I liked it. Even though I, I got hustled into buying everyone a bag of Milky Bar buttons, even your missus. Yeah. So. Yeah, I didn't know why you agreed to that, to be fair. I know. I just felt generous. Yeah. We've got so many snacks left over, it's ridiculous. But yeah, we put on TNA when we actually figured out how you buy it and actually watch the damn thing. That was a bit confusing. That took that took way too long. That than was it way, way too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had the pre-show on in the background, didn't really pay attention to it. No, but there was one wrestler that I'm really impressed with, and that was a woman's oh. wrestler called Giselle something. Thank she God. was in the Fatal 4-Way. Yeah. Giselle Shaw. Yeah. In the 4-Way, yeah, yeah. She, she was good. amazing. The only one I knew in that was the Zaya Brookside. Oh, was that Zaya Lee from WWE? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even recognise her, to be honest. But they had a really cool spot where I think just one of the women's jumped and then that Giselle Shaw put it into a sit-out powerbomb and it was just, it looked really mean. And I was quite impressed with that. And then we paid attention then when Eric Young came out and had a match against Hammerstone. Brock Lesnar. That was like the the surprise fourth dark match. There was 12 matches on this card, including dark matches. To be fair, it seemed to go quite quick. I uh, nah, I don't know. Some some points, I to be honest, I was falling asleep as we well. Were. It was a long day. We weren't we weren't really prepared. Yeah, it was all right to be fair. The the arena, I thought the crowd were really loud. I'm the opposite. I don't know why. It's just crowds in Canada, they're not as wow. loud as what. That's it. Just gets banned in Canada. I'm sorry, but it's true. I, we're a wrestling podcast. We've got to speak truths. No, we're wrestling podcasters. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah, there was 100,000 in there last night. Oh, no way. High, uh, highest WrestleGate what? in Canada. It was, it, was, it was the highest. For TNA. T- TNA in like 10 years. Yeah. I think it was over 4,000, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know the exact numbers. They were sold out as well. Yeah, yeah. Which was... And it looked packed. It did. It did, yeah. I thought it was, it was... a bit too dark, the crowd, though. Yeah, I've think... seen it on Twitter as well. Some people yeah. said that. They needed to turn some lights on, especially with so many people there. Yeah. Quite a lot of kids as well. There's one bit when there was like a whole quarter of kids. It was like, oh. And a lot of Vuvu Zaylas. Vuvu Vuvu Zaylas? Yeah, yeah. there was a Vuvu Zayla at one point. Security yeah. like tackled I had him to tackle him. About that was hilarious. That was strange. Yeah. You're not strange. a fan of the commentators on TNA though, are you? I'm not used to them. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Todd 
Todd Phillips, I think it was, and the Rusev Day guy, Aiden English, yeah. I think it was. Is that his name? Can't yeah. remember. I don't know what it is um, in TNA, but that's who he was. Yeah. I I didn't mind them. I know Todd Phillips from like Raw back in like yeah, yeah. the COVID era and stuff yeah. like that. I think they they both sound a bit too much like the UFC commentators. So they were it making is. it more sporty than no no just thingy. not even what they list, uh, was listening to because mm. we were talking about for that whole thing I weren't really listening to the commentary yeah but I noticed that the last time like their style of presenting and their like tone is both very much off of that yeah whereas when you're listening to other wrestling commentators they're very much quite distinct like Nigel McGuinness's voice Tony Schiavone's voice yeah Michael Cole Pat yeah. McAfee they're all like com- they're not like any of the sports commentators yeah so I think that might be where I get a bit like a because you don't, you don't listen know them. To... Yeah, you don't yeah. Yeah, listen to them. And you know what? I would actually add TNA to my wrestling week of watching. Will you? Where are you going to fit this in? I don't know. I don't know. So, like, what is it? Tuesday is Raw. Thursday is Dynamite. Raw. Oh, highlights. Thursday is definitely Dynamite. I always make Wednesday time for that. Wednesday is NXT. Wednesday is NXT, so then it'll be Friday for TNA and then Friday for SmackDown as well, live because we have you the weekend off. No, but I could. You won't. I you won't. Asleep. I could. Well, no, I actually did well. I only fell asleep at the main event Ch- until you woke me up going, chicken wing, chicken wing. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> you got the chicken wing in. I like yeah. chicken wing. Yeah, chicken it's a good name. Wing. The move's actually awful, but just the name of it's great. Yeah. Um, Before yeah. we get into it, though... How was your wrestling week, or what What kind of news did you... So I've seen all of Raw, I've seen... So I've watched some of TNA because of the build-up for yeah. this. So I saw like extended highlights of that and watched the whole signing. Contract signings just make me howl, because yeah. why they're being... Someone um, always goes for a table. Someone right? just has to go for a table, that's all it is. And at that point, everyone knew that Joe Henry would ne- never had a chance this weekend because he put Moose through a table and was the last man standing. You're like, oh, mm-hmm. well. The dreams died. But yeah, I didn't... Well, I'm trying to think now. Did I watch all of NXT? I watched a good chunk of NXT. I think I watched, let's put it on fast forward. Raw, I watched all of Raw. Raw mm-hmm. was good. I like Raw this week. Eric Rowan, man. Making me cry over my cereal. Yeah, that was nice. That was, that was a deep. nice touch. That was very deep. I didn't like the whole Bo Dallas getting battered and then he was still on no, top. No, I like it because then it builds towards, okay, Uncle Howard is going to be the, like, the, the one that is going to be unbeaten, and Bo Dallas can be the... It's almost like The Fiend and when it was Bray and the Jumper. I quite like that. And if they're going to do that kind of thing. Because if he's just being an undefeated menace throughout his entire run, I just don't think it's going to be as good as having this bit you can put in. Like him just yeah. laughing as getting, yeah, he's getting beat down by Chad Gable was just like mildly terrifying, to be fair. The crowd went mild for the Creed Brothers and Chad Gable, which was unfortunate because we were wanting that. They for just so need long. to actually show them why you need to care about them. Yeah. Just because they look good in suits doesn't mean you're going to care. Yeah. 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 To be honest, Rhea Ripley return was really good. I enjoyed that mm-hmm. promo, and then the whole bits backstage where they're recreating Eddie and China. Was yeah. Just like, yeah, that like, was a nice throwback. Yeah. Yeah, and then the whole. Dominic putting his foot in it and watching Phil, Finn Balor break him. Did you see that bit? No. So he says the line to Rhea going, I'm just going to prove to everybody you're mine. Mm-hmm. And she like storms off in a huff. And Finn Balor pulls her face like, oh shit, you're in trouble. Yeah. And Dominic starts to break because of his oh, face. Oh no. And he starts to, it's quite funny. He plays it off really cool, yeah, yeah, but you yeah. do notice it. Yeah. Jey yeah. Uso, I saw Jey Uso's trying to get into Rhea Ripley's pants. And he's been carrying on. I hate he's, it. He's been carrying on on, on Twitter, social, social, social media. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rhea Ripley's gave his, gave a number out. That was funny. I like that. She's, a, she's a married a, woman. She's a face actor. Dominic Mysterio is married, and he's true. Two time on his wife. I saw. I saw that he's liking Liv Morgan's posts on Instagram and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's full on broke. Yeah. Sheamus defeating Bronson Reed and then Pete Dunne coming out. Pete Dunn, heel Pete Dunn, heel bruise away. Um, well, it's quite funny inject that in my is, veins. That's Ludwig Kaiser's spot, but he's injured, so they've had to put someone else in there. Yeah. So it wasn't. So they've had to turn Pete Dunn heel very quickly. I mean, also Tyler, Tyler Bates injured his yeah, yeah. um, chest peck. Peck. Yeah, he's yeah. doing a Cody Rhodes injury. Yeah, yeah. this is bad. But yeah, he's yeah. So they've 
flip Pete Dunne because they need someone to fill that spot. And uh, to be fair, I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm all for it, man. Bruiserweight, like, heel Pete Dunne is going to be yeah. great. Yeah, so that... I don't know what that's going to lead to. If that's a SummerSlam match between the three of them, are they going to try and get in the he Intercontinental He can go for the picture? Intercontinental scene, can't he? Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Sonya Deville did a quick match against Selena Vega, which was a bit disappointing. Are like they the new damage squash. control now or something? Yeah, Deville, Stark and... Shayna Baszler. Yeah. They're a three woman trio. Uh, yeah, trio. Yeah. It's really weird to be fair because Selena Vega had a really good match, was it last week or the week before, mm-hmm. against Liv Morgan for the title? Two and weeks then ago. And then she's back. Then last week she yeah. had the mixed tag with Ray, uh-huh. Dom, and Liv, and that was good. And she's actually been showing off her mic skills recently. Mm. And then all of a sudden she's getting squished by Sonya Deville. Yeah. I take it it's just to show that Sonya Deville's back and this is how dangerous they're going to be because it was like the three of them beating her off. Yeah. But. I could have gone a bit longer, I would have, especially because then there was a squash match there on SmackDown as well this week, which you get, but don't have to be every week. Don't have to be every week. But then again, if you're only watching one show and not the other, you've only seen one squash match this week, so it's a bit True, hard. true. All the storylines are separate at the minute. Yeah. There's no need to watch everything unless you want to. What else happened on Raw? I don't know, but we've got a new international champion in NJF beating Will Ospreay. In a one hour match. Will told you he's just going to be another guy. I don't know, man. I don't, two I, losses in a row now. That's two losses, yeah. Now they've debuted Hologram, and Hologram's a better Will Ospreay. Well, well, fuck you. I'm Who else wrong. is a better Bray Wyatt? Not Bo Dallas, because he's shit, but... P- yeah, PCO is a better Bray Wyatt. Can't no, wait till we get to that intro, because we were all drowsy at that point. Yeah. What the hell is going on with TV? <laughs> yeah, no. Think, oh, Damien Priest beat Braun Strowman, which was surprised at. That was a was mild be. moment. No, because to be fair, I thought it was going to be like why, shenanigans or something. Why would Braun Strowman win? Braun Strowman, they, they should have had him in the Wyatt family thing because he's just terrible. He is so boring wow. as a wrestler. Is he? Yeah. It's fun watching him bounce Judgment Day around there week after week. I, I no, quite like that. I don't Cullido, know. Trying I to know. pinch him he, and then run. I don't, there's just something about him that I can't get behind anymore. Maybe because he's bold now. Wow. Yeah. Cool but I'm like a, a boldest. And then I've got the what happened this week now. Adam Pearce extended McIntyre's suspension. That was a good segment. That was good. I like that. And Seth Rollins runs out and likes to stop him beating up Adam Pearce. So Seth That'd Rollins wants to get involved. Apparently the rumour is he's going to be a special guest referee for the Punk McIntyre match, which I'm all for. <laughs> yeah. That's shit. What? What? Why would you have the best wrestler on oh, yeah, WWE best wrestler, not yeah. wrestling at their biggest event? I'm of the wondering summer. if he's actually fully fit. Mm. If they just got him through the Money in the Bank match. Because he's not wrestled since. He's not going to wrestle apparently before. Yeah. Uh, this is just basically the injured segment of the card because you've got McIntyre's got an elbow, Punk's got his tricep, and he's got his knee. knee. Yeah. Um, and somehow Punk will still get injured again. Probably. But I'm quite looking forward to that if he is special guest referee because you haven't really seen any of them in WWE in a while. No. Bob Punk coming out, Money in the Bank. Does yeah. that count, special guest referee? That wasn't a special guest referee. That was just a dick just move. Yeah. And then, so yeah, you had the Gable, Bo Dallas bit. Pretty cool. I like how the videotape this time was dropped off on McAfee's show. No. For the on third Roar time doing it on Yeah. I like that. And then Dragon Off the Sammy Zane. That's pretty cool. It's got your favourite finish to the match where Bron Breaker does his run round. Yay! Up. I like Yay. how Sami Zayn sacrificed Ilya. Oh, it's it's going to be a multiple man match, isn't it, for the IC title? Yeah, oh yeah it's going to be a trio match. Mm-hmm. Um, trio match, triple threat match. Trio's match is something completely different. Is it? In fact, there was one of them last night, weren't there? Mm-hmm. Um, that was the Rascals. Yeah, it was a bit mild. I didn't see highlights really of this. Yeah. Andrade, come on, uh, the Andrade match with Melo. They keep calling him Melo now. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the commentators to solidly drop half his name. I don't know. I don't know. It's like yeah, a that, certain that was McMahon's good. back in the creative, changing names uh, at the last minute. Yeah. Then you've got Nia Jax. That whole interaction with Bailey was quite funny. She's broke the briefcase with Tiffany Stratton. Oh. Surprised me and Yim actually got the win. Yeah. Me Chin's getting cool. a push now, though, isn't she? So. Yeah. Until uh, she gets destroyed by... I didn't actually see the LA Knight segment, but apparently he got cooked by Logan Paul. Okay. 
And cool. then the bloodline interrupts. The, well, I think Cody Rhodes had won, hadn't he? Yeah. Kato. And then... And now they've taken away Randy Orton last week. They've taken away KO. So now it is just and Cody And Cody's going to get battered for four weeks in a row and still win a PLE match. Where well, have I seen that before? Oh, wait. Yeah, well, the, last time the, whole, that. the whole, like, leading up to Mania or the whole after Mania where he gets beat yeah, up. It was, it was back and forth with AJ Styles. One week he was beating him up, the other week... No. Yeah. Cody was getting battered, especially not in we... the Bloodline stuff as well. Three yeah, in a yeah, row. Yeah, in the Bloodline... Well, not every single week. It was the Rock one, obviously. It was a big one. There was the one where they beat down... Do you do so? But Jimmy it's always and... the go home so, show that Cody gets on top. Uh, yeah. It's just, I don't... I'm trying to think of the AJ one. AJ was about three weeks. AJ did their fake retirement. Cody, the week after, beat up security because he couldn't get to him. And AJ still hands? knocked him out when the, well, in the security down, thing. That. Yeah. that was weird when he the front from yeah. the forearm into the crowd of security. Yeah. That was quite funny. So, uh, as I'm saying, Cody gets yeah, beat yeah. down and then. Somehow got wins the PLE. Ah. Yeah. You need to watch more of the segments, to be fair, because it was really cool. The, uh, I know, I get it. It's cool, Kevin but, Owens. like, come on. like I, I like that, but just, like, he's your champion. Book him a bit stronger on week-by-week -week shows in I segments mean, like that. He dominated Grayson Waller and uh, Austin Theory. It's easy enough. Anyone can dominate them. Come oh. on, me and you could dominate Grayson Waller like anything. I, no, no, I don't think we could. No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm and Austin sure Fury would just take the fall for us anyways because he takes the fall for everyone else. He's the best seller in the game, yeah. to be there. They're pre-recorded yes. SmackDown as well for next week. Yeah, they're doing the tour of Japan. Japan, yeah. And they didn't want to have to do SmackDown at a ridiculous time or whatever. Though. Yeah. But yeah, so that was basically that week. Um, well, that's your WWE week. Blood and Guts is next week. AEW, as I said, MJF is the international champion. Darby Allen is the fifth man for Blood and Guts, which is next week. Is, isn't that basically the same team that was on Double or Nothing? No, it's a total different oh, team. Oh, Daniel Bryan? No. Is it? Yeah, it's I a total know, different team. team. It's Mark, Darby Allen's on every team going. Mark Briscoe, Darby Allen, the acclaimed, and Swerve. Swerve is the captain. Okay. Um, so Swerve has to win, surely. The He's a big champion. Got to book him strong, Natesh. Got to you got to book strong. him strong. Yeah, you got to. So or I'll just take the belt off. And let's just have Okada as champ. He is a champ. He is funny. He Did you see his CEO dance thing? When he was like sweating and yeah. wiping his brow yeah. into that. Yeah, that was funny. That's about the only clip I've seen of this week. Um, oh, and that the fan beating up on there. MJF. That was funny. So I saw this stat yesterday, and actually, I don't know if it's true, but Raw in a three-hour show had a total of forty-nine minutes of wrestling. That'd be about right, probably, yeah. M MJF and Will Ospreay, 60 minutes. And, like, 40 minutes of it was just transitional moves. No. You what? You didn't watch the match, so yeah. you can't I say just, anything. I, I you haven't watched the match. Well. No, I haven't. Yeah. Um, I've seen a couple of the bits. Obviously, AEW. I like how they botched stint. the finish and didn't get it on the one. I think that worked, 59-58, because it's so hard to time it, though. Like... <laughs> How are you trying to tell me 50 on 58 is better than 50 on 59? I, no, I'm not saying it's better, but it it works. It keeps yeah. it more real. What else happened on AEW? Not much. It was just that match and then Blood and Guts promotion. Speak, bitch. Speak, bitch? Tony Schiavone. Oh, yeah, that was for right. Sassy That's Schiavone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, bitch. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. Like, Tony Savani and his sassiness was great. That's the other two clips I've seen. I've seen Okada's bit and that bit. Yeah, Okada versus Swerve was good. And then there was a WWE finish of DQ, so there was no finish. And that was pretty much it, really. Collision are in Dallas. I apologise for last week because I thought they were in Canada. But no, they're in Texas. I will Esports hold Arena. my hand. Esports Arena. Only 2,000 people, though? This is the size of venue they should be booking. I get that, but... Definitely. It looks full. That looks a lot better yeah. than having an 8,000 arena with, like, one and I really like the people. stage, actually. Uh, did you see clips of the stage? It's a bit WWE, weren't it? 
I I like that though. WWE stages are cool. Yeah, like, I'm just saying. Back in everyone the day. wants the tunnels. Where's the tunnels? Nah, tunnels are for I dynamite. Don't, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't get the tunnels. To be fair, heel. I know it's a callback. Well, but... it's going into our TNA moment then. Old school TNA, where they had the two opposite tunnels, was innovative. You had your bad guy tunnel and your good guy tunnel. Yeah, yeah, they did. They, they, that was one of the best things they did to like differentiate themselves. Yeah, obviously the six sided ring as well. Yeah, let's not get back to that. But you know, apparently all the wrestlers don't like it. Yeah, either. wrestlers don't like it because it's a lot harder. But yeah, nah, I don't know. It's just weird. Because mm. I know in Mexico they have a six sided ring. In one of their promotions. Not in CM Al Al, was it no. the way around? It'll be Triple A, I think. Triple oh, right. A, La, or whatever la, it la, is la, called. La, la, la. Phenomenal. Da, French da, crowd. Da, da, da. French crowd da, in da, TNA da, as well da. last night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Santino came out and had his four passport and went, I'm Canadian. I'm French now. I'm French Canadian. <laughs> I'm French Canadian now. Yeah. I'm not Italian or American. Yeah. That was quite funny. Before, I like sitting back on TV. Before we get into touches, then, as a whole pay per view, was it a beans burger or banger? It's a pretty average burger, I think. I don't think it was... If I was more invested in some of the stories, it probably would have been a higher burger. I don't think it would have got to banger. Um, but no, I, I enjoyed it, to be fair. Something different. It was something different to watch. Yeah, you're right. Because the, the pacing's different to both WWE and AEW. Yeah. It's. If it weren't for the fact we had the pre-show on for a bit as well, that probably is like the perfect length of a card. And that's what both the other two need to aim for. Yeah. I can't get used to the ring being a different size. It's really so small, right? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems it. I don't know. It just, yeah, it's I, a bit weird. I, yeah, fans, let us know. Is the TNA ring smaller than WWE and AEW? Well, they just have loads of room around it. Yeah. And is it because there's more writing on the map? I don't know. I do like the whole, like their promotions and like whatnot good because um, you're gonna have to get used to it because it's coming to everywhere else yeah <laughs> in uh, theaters near you yeah you know yeah it's quite cool to be fair mm. we didn't see the actual very beginning we tuned in pal what because so we had the pre-show one on the stream mm. then to get the actual ma- uh, card up when we had to get to that yeah, so we missed most of Matt Hardy v. It wasn't that much of a long match. Well, I've just had a look here because I've just got the match card up because I yeah. wouldn't remember. It was only four minutes 40. Yeah, and then Matt Hardy Which is hit. about right. Yeah. Because, yeah, we fucked about purchasing. But, yeah. Yeah, Matt then Hardy with an yeah. avalanche twist of fate, wasn't it? Yeah. And then hits yeah, two right more on him. I tried to find it this morning, and on the TNA highlights for last night, it's not on there. They don't have a finish of the match. Mm-hmm. But yeah, then the tag team match, that was cool. Oh, um, that was one of my match of the nights, I think. I yeah, th- so you had if ABC not, yeah. defeat the system. Yeah, Chris Bay and Ace Austin versus yeah. Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers. I Some of those spots were cool. I feel like they messed up with the whole cutter on the woman. Like, he overflipped and then ended up doing a Pele kick on her. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I was going to say, when you're saying cutter, I was like, who want a cutter? They cut kicks her in the head. Yeah, because their, yeah. their one-two switch move is a cutter going into another cutter. Yeah. And then getting the finish. Yeah, so that was, yeah, that was a pretty good start. That was definitely a good burger, that was. That one. I thought um, that was close to a banger, that match. That was close, yeah. Yeah. To be fair. And then you had Mike S- Satana defeating Jake something. That was just a nothing match. That was another match, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to it think. Got like, it was good luck. So I think the tag match was about 20 minutes. 15, yeah, that minutes. got a bit of time as well, though. The... And then this was about 10 or 12 minutes. Yeah. And I don't, yeah. It's nice to see them both on the card because they're big four T and A, but it's like, there's no stakes to it or anything. It was just a match, wasn't it? Yeah. If I'd yeah. seen the build up, I probably might have been really invested into it. But yeah. Unfortunately, like, in the few bits I've seen of TNA last few weeks, it's mainly been about the Rascals and Jordan Grace and the TNA World Championship match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, the most of our Ali bits as well, you don't actually have to watch because you know the gimmick. It's been going on for 300 and something days, wherever it was. 328 days, I think it is, yeah. yeah. 
Talking about the Rascals match, that was the next one, wasn't it? Six-man tag match. The Rascals yeah, versus no Nicole quarter Crash crash crew. Crew. I thought this was good. Uh, it was a good match. I wanted to see a bit more of Charlie Dempsey because, I don't know, there's something about him that I'm invested in right now. Yeah, he's... I know he's, he's William got, he's Regal's defi- son. He's got the look about him, though, ain't he? Yeah, he's got something. Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. But I always like those bits on NXT, the backstage bits of the matches there, and they've been really good. Yeah. And this, this is quite an easy one to follow from an NXT point of view, tuning in if you were for this. I don't know how many people that would have got tuned in from NXT for this, to be honest. I know, it was about a $50 pay-per-view. Yeah, what did we pay? Like 18 quid or something? Yeah. Which, that was a whole process, but we're not getting into that. That's more my stupidity, trying to use a credit card. <laughs> You're just not allowed to buy things on this no. will make a van out of you. You're so, barred yeah. from buying things, Aaron. That's fine. Oh, yeah, quick, uh, show, you... show them the T-shirt. This is the one you can scan. I can wait. We can wait the other one on the podcast. Just don't get anyone to scan the QR code. Don't yeah, mind. true. Got scammed. Don't use whatever that website was. Who's we? The name of it. You got scammed. I did we not. We got scammed. We got scammed. But yeah, and I really like the Rascals as like your gear as well. Yeah, yeah. That, the... that makes the match a banger, to be fair. I'm going a banger on that well, one. Well, because they're Buzz Light, yeah. You yeah, do like Buzz Light. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, yeah, that yeah. Was just, it just made me laugh. Yeah. Like, our fair play. Then we can go to the Beans match next, which was the Montreal Street Fight. Oh, fuck me. PCO defeating AJ Francis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so AJ Francis comes out. He's so annoying on the mic. I hate him. I AJ hate... Francis. T-N-A-J I quite like him AJ mic, Francis. I know, he's just really whiny. He puts like a package of him beating up PCO before the match. Yeah, there's a yeah, random so was... guy just watching him. Yeah, so he beat him up like five minutes before the show or something. I yeah. think that, that bit got lost in translation. And then I don't even know how to explain the next bit, Natasha. Go on. No, um... So they do the sting entrance with a dead body, put it into a casket. Some voodoo guy has. No, he used a knife first, didn't he? And it basically jumpstart PTO. But they're like, oh, I don't get that. I, I know, I know PCO is I know like the Frankenstein, Frankenstein, but like, I don't know, it was just weird seeing For like whole... two o'clock in the morning where we're shattered, we'd, we'd also been out on Friday night, as a side note. So <laughs> we're in the best shape. We're yeah. there trying to watch this. And I think I must have nodded off. The it was a bit. fever dream, wasn't it? And yeah, it was very fever dream like. And I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah. And at, the minute, at that point, to be fair, I was like, oh, it's going to be a banger. And then. The match started, and it very quickly turned into not a banger. It turned into a nothing match. Like, yeah, it was it was weird. I'm going as far as it's beans. Yeah, and it um, weren't even good. Would... It was like Branston beans, not even like a full branded Heinz beans match. It was Branston. This is like Sainsbury's White Label. Yeah, exactly. Like 39p beans. Beans. Yeah. yeah. Happy Shopper beans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You were disappointed that the tombstone wasn't onto the chairs. I was like, do you want them to kill the man? And then... The chairs were set for a reason. And and then, ended up but then they used to on the next slam. spot. What was yeah. That was the choke slam. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Choke slam's the new super kick. And... Ch- choke slam's the new super kick. What was the other one? Dragon well, screws. Super kick. Dragon screws. Right? Dragon screws, yeah. But there's no dragon screws on this pay per view. Was there one? There was one. There was one. On the pre show, we like? counted it. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It never came up again. Yeah, I was yeah. a bit disappointed Mustafa, Mustafa Ali or Nick Nemeth didn't pull out a dragon script. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nick Nemeth tied up the super kicks for the show. I know it's one of his big moves. It is funny. Yeah. Um, I yeah. Agree. And choke slams, I'm going off of them if you don't do a sit down with it. It's okay. just, they don't look as good as when like Taker does it or one of them old school boys. Kane has the best choke slam. Kane does have the best choke slam, yeah. I do like Damien Priest because it's the sit down like yeah. South of Heaven one. Yeah. That gives it something. Joe Hendry's is okay. Yeah, Joe, but Joe Hendry holds them up for. Yeah, Big Bill holds them up as well. Big Bill's yeah. got a good choke slam. Yeah, they basically do the same thing where yeah. they hold them up and then slam them down. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to Joe Hendry because he impressed me, to be fair, mm. on that match. What was next? Jordan Grace versus Ash by Elegance. What was that? Ash by Elegance's name in WWE? Dana Brooke. That was it. The better Tony Storm. I'm, I'm not going to bite. I'm not going to bite. With 
They call him the personal concierge. They don't actually give him a name. The poor Luther Ripper. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's you quite probably... funny because it's... Someone fucking pulled out a knife on him. I thought it was Taylor Paxley. I was so excited. I was like, yes. But they More said NXT. it was Rosemary. They said it was Rosemary at the start, but you I... just didn't believe it. I know. I thought... I, when Because when they showed the... They showed her coming down the stairs first, and I said it was Tatum Paxley, and then they said it was Rosemary. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, I thought it was Tatum Paxley. And then, yeah, it was Rosemary. Yeah. And then she chased off the concierge with a knife because he grabbed Jordan and Grace's leg. It was quite a good match, to be fair. There was um, a mean spot. Um, I think it was Ash by Elegance got dropped on her head outside. Yes, yes, and yeah, that happened. Yeah, that oh, they didn't look nice. It didn't look Yeah, nice. and I know what it's saying. Yeah. And Jordan um, Grace. Oh, there was a Canadian destroyer. Ash by Elegance did a Canadian destroyer. And yeah. the crowd went popped for it, which was fun. Uh, yeah, it, I found that that match went really quick. You can tell you one minute. I'll put, put 12 minutes the match was. Wait, why did okay. I just keep this one up earlier? What did I say earlier? So the the tag match was 16 minutes 50, apparently. Mike Satana versus Jake something went 14 minutes 40. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 11 minutes 40. The Rascals was 40 minutes 10. Yeah. PCO's match was 13 minutes 45. That was long. That could have been at least yeah, four yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan Grace, yeah, by, uh, uh, defeating Ash by Elegance was 12-10. Yeah, that could have gone a bit longer. Give that the sort of Mike and the PCO match and stack that above 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, that was definitely a good good burger, that was. A good burger? Yeah. What, like the good burger? Welcome to Good Burger Home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order, good burger, or? Oh, just a good burger. Did I throw you I off like there? How you, Did I throw I like you that. off there? I like how you know that, and we don't even have good burger in this country. Every good burger doesn't exist at all. I thought it was an actual place in America, not gonna lie. I know it's from the TV show. Um... TV show is a fucking film. What f- good burger? I'm put, getting it. Tangent. Else. Tangent. You've tangent. not seen Good Burger. Oh, yeah, I have. I thought it was a TV show. No. I sure I've seen it. It's not a TV show. It was Keenan and Cal. They have their film, Good Burger. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, I'm getting confused now. I've thrown them off. I've thrown them yeah, off, fans. No. The film is a spin off of the Good Burger comedy sketch from Nickelodeon series, all that. Okay, okay, fair, fair. Like, I probably should know more from the movie than that, but I remember it from that. I don't know. I I, I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. Because that, all that went for ages. Yeah. Hang on. The original series was 94 to 2005. Ten seasons. Fuck. Yeah. Because Keenan and Cal had their, obviously, Keenan and Cal show. To be honest, that's what I was thinking about when yeah. we were on about. Did you know there's a good burger too? Released last year. Yes. On Paramount Plus. Yes. You've got Paramount Plus, you can watch it. And now it's expired now, it was only a seven day trial. Ah. Oh. Although to be fair, there's a good selection of stuff on there, there's another side tangent. I'll probably September or October when I'm a bit quieter, resub and go through some bits. Mm-hmm. Where were we anyway? Jordan Grace. Oh we oh yeah. Anything else to say on that one? Uh no, it just went quick. Jordan Grace won. She'll be going to WWE once her contract expires you'd imagine yeah in january yeah unless be, she uh... does a big swerve and ends up at AEW, but it's not looking likely nah she's always when she did the interview for raw rumble and that i know you were gonna say it no matter what but it looked like she was really into the wwe stuff yeah uh, match 11 mike bailey defeating mustafa ali for the tna x division banger. championship this was a surprise and this banger. Was a banger this was a banger uh, also by submission because they did this whole Montreal screw jobby business. Yeah, so it started off really well. It was it was go just really like side note, like when they were like doing the feeling out process, Mike Bailey, because he's like the karate kid, yeah. he like kept his foot by Mustafa Ali's face and did like a little Yes slap yeah, yeah. thing. Which I thought was hilarious. And then he, I think Mike Bailey was the one that super kicked the ref. And yeah, so it starts in middle and it's hang on, where is it? Twenty minutes long. This match was 
I did start to like it in the middle a little mm. bit. And oh, then, yeah, because yeah, the whole, like, his Secret Service walked into the camera oh, angle. Exactly. So they were halfway up the ramp, basically, and then you can see him start to edge forward, and then all of a sudden they're there to catch as he comes flying out of the ring, which is just, yeah. You can actually see him on the camera, like, yeah. walk across. Oh. Yeah, and then shenanigans, the referee gets knocked out. They all get involved and get beat up. And then Mustafa Ali does the whole injured. Yeah, he does the X sign. Yeah. And then Earl Hebner. Hobbles his way down the ramp. Hobbles round, his man. way down, bless him. We thought he broke his leg at one point. Yeah, he gets booed throughout the whole fucking thing because, yeah. side note or bit of backstory... In 1996 or 1997, in Montreal, Bret Hart was leaving. He was the champion, and Vince McMahon and Shawn Michaels screwed him out when Shawn Michaels put him in a sharpshooter, and O'Heb now rang the bell. All because he wouldn't drop the bell. Yeah. Or wouldn't retire the bell. No, he, he was worried. Shawn he was, Vince was worried that. He'll take he the said, belt. He said he was basically going to give just give the belt up and walk out, but he didn't want him to turn up on the TV. Yeah. Who did Who did turn up on? Medusa. WCW. Um, that was it. What's her Britain name? Alondra Blaze. Or what yeah. was it? Yeah. It's quite funny because Undertaker said he didn't know, and if he knew what their plan was, he would have said, let he him would drop have said the belt let to me. Drop the belt. Because yeah. he would have, they were friends. Mm-hmm. Brett. Brett just didn't like Shawn Michaels. I don't know if he still doesn't like him or what. Yeah, they're they're, they're okay now. I don't think they're like the, the best of pals. Couldn't, but... couldn't stand him. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, no, that was that was a good match. I enjoyed that. Like 20, yeah, twenty minutes thirty. Now that because I did, was thinking last night watching it, going, "God, this is starting to drag a little bit." And then a uh, fun bit happened. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. So that what, saved it from dipping. What was it? There was a chair when it just got kicked into Hebner and just tripped him up. Yeah, it kind of tripped him up. He fell over. He wasn't serious. He, couldn't, anyway. get oh, he couldn't get up. He couldn't get up, bless him. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Bailey yeah. puts him in the Bret Hart sharpshooter. And yeah. Mustafa Ali has his first well, Mustafa spots. Ali got him in it first. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. he was telling Hebner to do the screw job. Like, do yeah, it, yeah, do yeah. it. And he wouldn't do it. Yeah. It was good, to be fair. Oh, he enjoyed that. And then, yeah, so that's 300 and something days, did you say? Yeah. Without a loss? Yeah. He hadn't lost since he left WWE, had he? No. And he was going so, to different promotions and stuff yeah. as well. Um, yeah, to be fair, he's proven himself, and now he's, he's always proved business. himself. That even he in WWE, be, he just didn't have the look of a WWE wrestler. Uh, unfortunately. The issue is he doesn't he doesn't fit in with a lot of the matches. Exactly, it's one of the reasons like Nick Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler never got mm-hmm. as big of a push because he had the, they both had all the talent, and some of it was Vince McMahon screwing with people. But some of it was very much like, even now you look at most of the roster and they all fit a certain type that can go against each other. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Ilya Dragunov's like one of the smaller guys, but even when he was in the ring with McIntyre and Sheamus, mm. like that works still. He managed to put, he pulls that off because he's that good of a... Yeah, um, he's that good of a wrestler, yeah. Yeah, and these two are up there, but they it's under a different era. Like if... Dolph Ziggler still had a year or so on his contract. He would have got used a lot more. Do you reckon? It's like New Year. Yeah, I don't I think, think so. I think they would have started to use him more for different bits. He still would have left at the end of it. Don't get me wrong, but like he would have been involved more in different bits. Like imagine him with Andrade, Hayes, dragging off in matches. Jacob Bloodline, yeah. not Tonga got, Lola, but yeah, you, you've Tonga. got more. Yeah, yeah, you've got more people, and yeah. I think he was still. Being used in like most of the live shows as well. Mm-hmm. It was just on TV. Is he wasn't cool. getting used yet? Because it's like everyone's like, what, what, "What's up with uh, Nakamura at the minute?" He's like, he's doing live shows every now and again. Yeah, but he's just not on TV. He's not on TV. But accounts, he's living the life happy. though, isn't he? Oh, he like, is. Yeah. Like he's surfing whenever he wants. He turns up, gets a fat paycheck for doing some live events and putting on bangers there. Yeah. Goes to Japan. Goes to the UFC. He's just yeah. He's living the dream. Mm-hmm. He's done his TV time. He's yeah, done his headline exactly. spots. You yeah. don't need it anymore. He doesn't need it. Yeah. So it makes sense. And if, he's, and if he's ever needed, he'll turn on. Like if someone was injured and couldn't have done King of the Ring, he would have just dropped into that tournament. Wouldn't have won it. And it, 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 it would have worked though, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he would have returned for that. I, 
I take it he's going on the tour to Japan next week. I, I would hope him so. Because Asuka's advertised, but she's not in a match. She's a company in Damage Control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Damage Control are in a series of tag matches. There's a guest. I can't remember who the guest is now. That was for SummerSlam, wasn't it? A no, no. Pro so Noah. Damage Control are taking on... Mm. Nice little tangent, guys. I know. Another little yeah. tangent today. Yeah. Japan tour. Oh, God, this is not going to be as easy. Go on. That's Do it. going to be. Do it. If you can debunk the good burger, you can debunk WWE's Japan tour. Why is Logan Paul not going to Japan? It's because he's permanently banned from the country. Why was that coming up? Out. Well, he is permanent. He'd yeah. get arrested, wouldn't he, if he ever turns back up there? Yeah. Ah, updated lineups. I like the badge for the tour, as a side note. Right, it's Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, Sato Mora. Sato Mora? I don't know. Miko Satomura. That's probably butchered, I'm sorry. Versus Eo Sky, Kairi Sane, Dakota Kai, accompanied by Asuka. Okay, fair. But yeah. Actually, to be fair, this is quite cool. Oh, yeah, here you go. So you've got Cody Rose versus Nakamura versus AJ Styles for the oh, WWE Championship oh, match. That's a that good would match. Bang. You've got World Heavyweight Championship match, Damian Priest v. Jey Uso. Then you've got the Bianca Belair, Cargill, yeah. Satamora versus Damage Control. Rey Mysterio. Oh, no, that's just the same people on the cards that say the matches. Then the next one, you've got Cody Rose versus AJ Styles, Priest versus Uso. That tag match again. Nakamura versus Ale Knight is on that other one. Okay. And then the second night, sorry, so the first one's in Osaka, then there's Tokyo, that's yeah. what it's right now. Then there's the second night in Tokyo, which is, oh, okay, this is turning great now. Cody Rose versus Ale Knight versus Nakamura versus AJ Styles. Yeah. And then you've got Priest versus Mysterio for the heavyweight championship. Mm-hmm. You've got that same women's tag match and then other people appearing as well. Yeah, that actually sounds like a decent tour. Yeah, that sounds like a great little tour. yeah, yeah. Are we going to get UK WWE live tours in October? Yeah, but there's no none near us because I've ah. already checked. They're meant to be going to that new Manchester arena if it's finally working. Is that the one that got cancelled when the co-op Olivia one, yeah. R- Rigo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Peter Kay's had to cancel stuff there. Yeah. Like, it weren't ready and they tried to open it. It's quite funny. Okay. I've just closed that window down and that window had... The match the, card. But card. we're on the final match now anyway, so you should yeah, know this are. off by heart. Wait, where the fuck is it gone? Who oh, was God. wrestling, Aaron? Did Joe Henry come out first? I can't remember yes. now. Yeah, Get so the Joe biggest Henry pop man. Everyone sang his song. We Bought sang his song. Roman. Our friend was sleeping and we slapped we his on. forehead with the... Yeah. No, no, it's the constant one. I didn't oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Steve, McLean, Moose, Joe Henry, Josh Alexander... Frankie Kazarian and the man who looks a bit like Dolph Ziggler. Yes. In I swear I've seen TNA him before. World Championship Eliminator match. Um, I like this match. It was a good match, but I wish it was. So I don't know if you ever saw this in old TNA, but they had a match type called King of the Mountain, you which was that, like the six men, but yeah. whoever gets pinned goes into like a sin bin sort of thing. Yeah. And then whoever's is on top is the champion right. and that would have been a nice little callback to it i i think that would take far too much explanation to get through my head so i'm glad they kept with the elimination style <laughs> but it's a callback to tna and i feel like that would have been a good way of having those six big names wrestling it was yeah. nice seeing the little promo package before with like frankie kazarian who was an original 26 years ago, and then now yeah. in the main event of another Slammiversary. Oh, a side note. Natesh, until the card has started, thought it was just Moose versus Joe Hendry. Yes, I did. I did. And he was complaining because he doesn't believe. I know, I do believe. You will, I hope you don't win. Fake fan. No, Fake I do fan. believe. I do believe, but I don't oh, yeah. think... I think Moose should be the the champion of champions. Wow, he's no longer the champion. No, so who spoiler. Got, who who got to think? Macklin got Macklin knocked out first. Got knocked Wait, out first. Oh, hang on, I've got a not handy little chart here. So it went for 10 minutes, but it was a half hour match. To be fair, didn't seem like half hour. Steve Macklin got eliminated by Moose. 
Mm-hmm. Moosem was eliminated by Joe Hendry. So Moose was uh, the second elimination. Yeah. Oh yeah, because like yeah, Frankie Kazarian so, got table yeah, bumped. Yeah. So Macklin got knocked out after ten minutes. Twenty-one minutes in, Moose got knocked out, and in that ten-minute gap, they fought their way up the ramp. Frankie Kazarian got put through the table by a super kick. Yeah. Super kick was yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. They fought their way back down the ramp. And then, yeah, Moose looked like he was going to knock Joe Hendry out, and Joe Hendry knocked Moose out with, with his the stand ovation pin. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that they did that. If Joe Hendry weren't going to win, at least he knocked out the old champion. Yeah. Because he proper like Hulk, Hulk Hogan moment. He was like, probably like, He was ah, doing his fall away slam money and kick, kick, kick ups. Dad yeah, so he did fall away slam then. on everybody. And I was yeah. like, if he does this on Moose, this is impressive. And he yeah, did it to yeah, him yeah. as well. I was like, I'll take my hat off to you, Joe Hendry. Yeah. Because that was some show of strength to do it to yeah. all four of them. Um, and then wait, straight away after, yeah. he gets eliminated. Like, literally, yeah. not even that, two minutes later. So, C- C4 Spikes, it called? Just yes. Alexander's move? Yeah, Tiger Driver. Tiger Driver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Will Ospreay just got a man up and use it. Everyone else seems to be using it. Yeah, true. Can't just guess. Alexander turned heel, quotation marks. He kicked yeah, Joe so he Hendry in the him. nuts. Yeah, so Joe Hendry... Yeah, it's like... So, hang on, here it is. 21 minutes 40, Moose gets eliminated. Henry is 22 minutes 45. Yeah, for so a minute, whole minute. minute and five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Joe, Josh Alexander low blows him. C4 Spike knocks, pins him to eliminate him. Then just beats him up for however long. Mm-hmm. Bit of a weird moment to do the heel turn. Bit like, I don't know if it was like telegraphed a bit more, weekly shows or whatever. I, don't, I didn't expect it, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. And then Josh Alexander gets eliminated next, right? Yeah, Nick Nemeth and Nick Nemeth wins. Just say that yeah. because he knocks, he pins after a super kick. Greatest move in all sports entertainment. Josh Alexander. Then Frankie Kazarian reappears, and finally we get the zigzag, or as he calls it, the danger zone. Danger zone. Or most wanted man alive. Yeah. Was that just his nickname? That is the danger remember. zone. Um... Yeah, it does the danger zone. Wins the bell. New TNA champ. Second round in TNA for a bit. I'm happy. Yeah. I- I'm happy. Did I want Joe Hendry to win? Maybe. Yes. But I wanted Moose to retain. I, I don't know. I don't have that strong opinion on Moose, to be fair. What I've seen of him is impressive, but it doesn't have to always be a champion. Uh, does it mean he can now get involved in uh, NXT? We can have him Potentially. and he can chase Joe Hendry around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Joe Hendry just keeps appearing. That was great, by the way, on NXT when in the middle don't of a match. Don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah. They said the name and yeah, he just yeah. appeared. <laughs> He's getting some hair by in, Joe Hendry, at the minute. He is. He is. But yeah. Yeah, Nick Nemeth's champ. Then all the champs come down to celebrate in the ring. There was three title changes on that card. Yeah. 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 Marks um, the new season exciting. of TNA. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that was... that was. A, I'd say that's a medium burger, that pay-per-view. Yeah, that pay-per-view Going is a medium burger. What about that match? What would you have rated the match? That's a high burger. It's mm-hmm. not quite banger. Yeah. I don't know what more they could do, to be fair. Maybe if Joe Hendry didn't get eliminated like, within a minute of knocking Moose out, let it soak in a bit more that, oh my God, Joe Hendry's done this. Yeah. And then have a low blow and mm-hmm. then have him eliminated, maybe. Yeah. I just can't. It was too quick. Like, you're still trying to get over the fact that he just eliminated Moose. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. He lost a bit of that shine. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, in the meantime, we were watching Hologram's debut on AEW. Was that during that match or was that just before that match? Just before. I mean, he's I was impressed. He was he was flippy flipping everywhere. But he's some of his flippy in, flips. Was executed well. Yeah. It's just Axiom from NXT. Yeah. Yeah. With a glow up vest I agree. that he wears coming out. I agree. But I, they built it up too much for me during the week. Every bit you saw say, this is going to be revolutionary. He's technically advanced. It's all this, it's all that. And I was like, it's a lucha, bro. I did not see that. Yeah, there's loads on Twitter. Oh. Like all, all, the, all those. AEW fan accounts that have pictures mm-hmm. of wrestlers were like, this is going to be the greatest thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've said they, they've said they wanted to do this for years and they couldn't do it. And they were like, it's, yeah, technically innovative. I was like, that's what I actually at first, when I saw the master, I was like, this is going to do Axiom speed thing that he does with Nathan Frazier. You know, when he comes out a bit like a flash. Yeah, I don't know. I was impressed by him, not going to lie. To be but... fair, we watch it on a phone. I can't really make much comments yeah. in it. But he looks like a lucha bro to me. He but... is. He, he's a lucha guy. He's a luchador. Um, what did, who did we say it was? A salmon. I thought it was yeah, a, a, a Rasium or something like that. As yeah. Sarium. I thought it would be Sammy Guevara to be honest. He's probably Banster. 
Yeah. But as yeah. I say, get a mask on him so then he's not banned. Do you know what I mean? What, so just let him be a dickhead and a shit? But, but in a mask. Still pay him money and yeah, put yeah. in a mask. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. No, TNA Slammiversary 2024. So just call it the year. I don't name one. It was just Slammiversary. Slammiversary yeah. 2024. It was good. We enjoyed it. Yeah, I was impressed. Yeah. We've got a busy few weeks. We've got a very busy few weeks. We've got Rev Pro next week. Yeah. We don't know if we're going to do the podcast on Rev Pro next week because Rev Pro is at like three o'clock in the afternoon. And that's not. It's on at like seven. No, it's not. It finishes about seven. I'm glad I'm... See, I bought the tickets for this. I thought it started in the evening. No, it's afternoon. So we've got to try and figure out are we doing the podcast before it or have we got time to get home and do the podcast after? I have got Monday off, to be honest. but And I've got afternoons Monday, yeah. so we might just be able might to Might be that. able to. But my voice might be gone and I might have Probably had a few beers. makes more sense, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure doors are at like three or half three. Okay. And then card starts at four. Depends what website you look on. RevPro's website's different to the Empire's. So mm-hmm. we're going to a venue in Cov called the HMV Empire. You went to a music gig there, didn't you? Yeah, it was really fun. It's a nice nice little venue, to be honest. They've got a secret bar that no one knows of. What? Where? So like the corner of the stage? Yeah. This is the main bar, you did. No, it's not, because the main bar's through a door, set of doors. So you come up the... You come uh, up the stairs, the you turn escalator. right. You, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a bar there. Yeah. And then you go left into the room, and then it's not a secret bar, it's right next to the main stage. I know, but no one was going there. Everyone goes there when you're no. in there. No, no, no one was going there. Whenever I've been in there, and I've been there for football, I've been in there for Yeah, but that's for music. football. I'm talking about music. And yeah. music. Everyone was going to that bar. No. Nah. Because it was easy. You didn't have to leave the room. But that's what I would have thought, right? But there was more I thought you were going to say that for now put a bar outside on the balcony. I was going to say, that'd nah. be great. That would be good. That would be um, good. You know, I just got to drink shit beer because it's not very good beer in there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Got but front yeah, row seats, so we have got front row seats. If you if you see highlights for the row for row. and see us in these glorious t shirts, I can't yes. see myself on the screen now. Yeah. I hope you can see it. I can see it. Yeah, we'll be there, we'll live be and there. in color. Yeah, cool um, personality. Diddle diddle diddle. <laughs> I've heard um, Punk's there. Yes, he's he going is. to screw over the main event. No, Dijak's there though. Feast your fucking yeah. eyes. Hang on, Rev Pro. Give me the match card. There is one, is there? There is a match card, yeah, I've seen it. HMV and Oh, God, it's not there. There is definitely a match card. It's Michael Oku, is it, V. Dijak? Okay. Don't know, but yeah, yeah, okay. It is. We need to get more into the whole UK wrestling scene again. Yeah, what? What culture wrestling still a thing? No. Love you, Sam Miller. The yeah. amount of people who are on What Culture Pro Wrestling and now made it big, yeah, uh, is being yeah. insanely impressive. It's it's good. That flashed in the pan because like Cody, the Young Bucks, and everyone like that were on yeah. there constantly. Yeah, Gunther, Gunther, he was on there as well. Drew, Drew Galloway, yeah, Killian Dane. There was a lot. Maybe we'll yeah. do a What Culture podcast episode one day. Yeah, and go back. I'm sure that you should be able to find quite a few of the things. You'll find loads of highlights. And all that. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a good time. That's but good yeah, time. we're at Rev Pro. We're going to Rumble in the Jungle. Yes. Is, is the event called Rumble in the Jungle? Or am I making that up? I think you're making it up, but I think no, that sounds sure fun. It is. It's like a whole wrestling event. It... UKPW, isn't it? Yeah. Where are we? Yeah, it's Rumble in the Jungle. Rumble in the Jungle. Oh, I see. Man, you you got called. a great memory. Yeah, it's like a festival where they'll have loads of like merch stands and like a whole community there, but they've got the UK pro wrestling scene there as well, so they have a ring and everything like that. So yeah, if you good. are going there, it's based in Seven Oaks. So yeah, look out for us. We'll be wearing those T shirts as well. We will, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gonna have to wash them in between, but we'll be wearing them again. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to not fitting. wash. Yeah. Very, have you tried yours on yet? I tried mine on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got. You must have got slim fit t-shirts. I didn't. I definitely. I didn't. made sure. I made sure it wasn't slim fit. Wow, these ain't UK mediums and extra yeah. large. Have you tried? Have you got. tried your other one? Yeah, the other one fits fine. 
It's also a thicker material. Yeah, I don't know. Podcast, just say, just don't let anyone scavenge you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is this week's episode. I don't think there's much more else to say. No, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can follow us on at Make Fan of You on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we are on. We'll make a fan out of you if you want to see our lovely faces and our YouTube content as well. I swear, down if this is going to be back to front because on my preview of the thing, it's. Back I to hope front. it's not. I hope it's not. That would be funny. And it's staying in. It's staying in. Uh, have you got anything you want to say to our fans? No. Do you not like Hello. them? Hi. No, we Cass, do appreciate you. You're not on holiday this week, so. I want yeah, I was waiting for that. I was waiting yeah, for that. Yeah, that's the one, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Kaz. <laughs> Can't believe he didn't take his phone at holiday. No, he did. He just doesn't use it. Yeah, but he should good. be sat there at the pool with his headphones in, listening to our lovely voices. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I actually, I, actually, I can't. I, I do listen to bits and pieces. I can't listen to his ramble because I don't like the sound of my own voice. There's a plug. Put that in our uh, highlight reel. What's that? I don't like the sound of my I own voice. I don't like voice. the sound of my own voice, no. Really but weird. we hope you like the sound of our voice and like, follow, subscribe, and with that, hit the music. Mm-hmm.